fertility clinic. Huh? Well, I hope whatever you find out, uh, I'll still have a say in having this baby. That's a joke, right? What do you think I'm going to do? Toss my pills and trick you into it? No. Obviously, this has to be mutual. You have to want this baby as much as I do. This baby doesn't sound too hypothetical. I resent the implication. I resent you're not answering my question. I don't understand why all of a sudden you're so upset about Sam. Well, number one, it isn't Sutton. And number two, from the sound of things, I'm not the only one that's upset. Why does it bother you so much that your kid is working for Nora if you're not still in love with Sam? Because she doesn't like me. I don't want her poisoning my son's mind against oh, me. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Why shouldn't I be upset? Sam crashes my dinner party and then regales our son with history that Will has no business knowing about at all. Ah, why does that history matter at this point? Because a marriage is still a fact even after it's over, especially when kids are involved. Sam and I are linked forever because of our children, whether we want to be or not. I would think you, of all people, would understand that. When my son acts out, I... I... I you what? What are you going to do? Hightail it after him along with your ex-husband? I'm here, aren't I? Yes, because I stopped you. Look, I raised a couple boys, remember? I know plenty. But I still don't like you running to Sam for help every time the kid acts up. Please, don't let your ego get involved here because it's hard enough to blend families oh, to begin with. Is that what you with. want to do, blend families? Why do you think that I threw this party to begin with? Damned if I know. I'm not even sure why you married me. Joey and half my family thinks that you're using me. You know, because of my name and, and who we are here. Now, if that's the case, let's get that out and open and deal with it right here and now. That's fine. And as long as we're going to be discussing motives, well, maybe you should answer me first. Why did you marry me? Today, the role of Jessica Buchanan will be played by Maggie Anderson. I know I said this before, but I didn't have a clue about Nora and your father. Of course, nobody ever tells me anything. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Whatever they tell you is warped anyway. I mean, my mom told me that an affair broke up their marriage. Well, it did, didn't it? Yeah, but I found out Dad's thing happened way before they were married. So my mom would cheat on him. Oh, well, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, don't be. You know, just uh, think of it as a growth experience. Learning that your parents had affairs? Learning that you can't trust anyone, especially them. I know how you feel. I'm so angry. Uh, I'm not mad. I'm fine. Uh, at least I will be anyway when I forget about this whole mess. How are you gonna do that? With a little help from my friend John Barleycorn. No, I haven't seen Will. What made you think he'd be here? Well, when he stormed out of Aces, Jessica was with him. Jesse? She had a date with Christian. She was there at Lindsay's dinner party. Wow, her plans must have changed. Hey, maybe they went uh, over to Chris's afterwards. Let me call and find out. I tell you, as kids get older, you think you worry less, you worry more. Oh, boy. Yeah, well, I've been worried lately, I tell you. I actually, I'm really spread kind of thin. I know the feeling. Look, uh, I know it may be a lot to ask, but uh, would you mind maybe stopping by and, 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 well, saying hi to Todd? He pretty much needs constant supervision these days. Well, sure, I'd be happy to, but doesn't he have that at the hospital? Todd's not at the hospital. Todd's home. Oh, that's Sam. He's got some books for me. Hi, Kent. What are you doing here? Christian had to cover for Carlotta at the diner, and he said he didn't see Jesse after she left for Aces. I just hope Will has not dragged Jesse into another one of his little escapades. 
Well, let's not panic quite yet. It's early, and if they are together, I can count on Jessica being very level-headed. Well, I, I hope so. I really hope you're right, because my son, I tell you, he's, his behavior has been just about as unpredictable lately as Todd's. Speaking of Todd, how did he get released from the hospital? Oh, well, Todd's wearing an ankle monitor, and he's under my supervision. I made a deal with Hank and John Sykes. That's not a deal. That's a miracle. Well, be that as it may, he's out. But the fact is, is I would really appreciate it if uh, you'd go in and, well, talk to him, because uh, I've got to look after Will. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Who's with him now? Well, that's the problem. Uh, there's no one with Todd. He's home alone. Kevin's here because I invited him. You invited him to talk to me or to talk to you? Actually, I was hoping that I could talk to you. Well, do you want me to say that I'm sorry? I already said that I was sorry. Should I say it again? I thought it would be important for the public to hear your story, Todd. Tom. Call me Tom. Okay. Okay. Um, will you allow Kevin to interview you, Tom? I don't know. Sam said that I wasn't supposed to talk to anybody. Well, what if I promised, uh, Tom, that uh, anything you said to me would be off the record till we got Sam's approval? That seems fair, doesn't it? I don't know. Do you want him to trick me? Is this all so he can prove that I'm a faker? No, I... Well, I... Pete did some awful things, I know that, but Pete's not here anymore. Will it make you happy if I talk to Kevin? Well, okay. Todd and Pete, they're the ones with all the secrets. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Of course, this baby, it's hypothetical. We don't even know if it's feasible. In fact, I'm calling Dr. Conklin, and I'm going to set up appointments at the uh, fertility clinic starting tomorrow. I want these tests done before we think about this anymore. How long will you be gone? As long as it takes for me to find out what I need to find out. In the meantime, I don't want you thinking about this anymore, you know, because if you... If I find out I can't conceive and you've got your heart set on having a baby, then I know I'll only come back and disappoint you. So I just, you know, don't invest, all right? Right now, honey, I'm more concerned about your investment. Would having a baby Buchanan be such a horrible thought? Not to me, it wouldn't. Did you steal that from my grandfather? Please, I'm a lot of things, but thief isn't one of them. Rappaport's pay their way. So what disaster? Where'd you get it? My supplier. Little guy down by the bridge specializes in booze for spoiled brats. No card and no questions. So, we gonna get happy or what? Come on, don't. What? What? No! I'm not a chicken. I can take a drink if I choose to, but never, ever in a car. And in your condition, I don't think it's yeah, a good well, idea. Condition? What, what, what condition? You're bummed out. Yeah, that's the point. Well, you're better off talking about it. Oh, man, now you're starting to sound like my dad. Jeez, what, what, what's next? Will, if, if you continue on this path, you're, you're on your way to disaster, oh, pal. Oh, okay, I know I may look like a goody two-shoes. You? Nah. Thanks. Basically, I'm just, I'm just worried about you. This whole situation with your parents. But listen, listen, I appreciate your concern, all right? It is more than my parents show. But hey, then again, you know, they're busy, busy, busy. Screwing around, arguing, loping. Well, please don't. Look, you may not be a goody two shoes, but you are a tad up tight, all right? But I guess you'll lose that when you go to college, wherever you go. Where are you going? Columbia. But that, that, that's where I'm going. Oh, New York will never be the same again. No, really, I, I'm Big Apple bound. Gonna be the king of the good time, guys. Oh, God, that's the police car. Put that bottle down. Oh, Sarge. Chairs officers. No, you're really asking for it. I just hope those cops do. Yeah, yeah, what are they gonna do if they did? Pull us over and arrest us?
I married you because it felt like the right thing to do. And now you're having second thoughts? Yes, sir. With good reason, it seems to me. Sam walks in here and you go loco. Now, you may say that you have no feelings for your ex, but... Oh, wait a minute. Are we saying that you don't have any feelings for yours? Because Joey and the others never would have been able to plant those seeds of doubt in your mind if you weren't ready and willing to listen. And maybe you're ready because Vicky still looms so large in your life. Oh, bull. Okay, fine. Vicky was a... was a big part of my life. And she'll always have a place in it. And Sam will always have a place in mine, but if you're gonna have a fit every time he and I speak, then maybe this was a mistake. Maybe it was. I don't want to think so. Of course but... you don't want to think so. It's embarrassing for both of us. But I think it's a lot worse if we try to build something on Las Vegas sand. All right, you want to know why I married you? Bottom line? Please. Because you made me feel needed. You made me feel wanted. You know what? You still are. I'm willing to try for forever here. I care about you. Yes, it happened fast, but hey, there it is. Really? Me? Or is it the Buchanan name and the Buchanan money? You are so hung up on that, and I really hate to burst your bubble there, but there are other rich, well-connected men that I could have had. Why didn't you? Because none of them made me feel the way that you did the first time that I fell into your arms. You made me feel special. I'd like to hang on to that. I want to make this work, don't you? Of course I do. But there's got to be more to it than and the loneliness we started out with. It has to... There has to be some real feelings. But there are real feelings, at least on my part. Do you mean that? I thought I made that clear on our wedding night. You know, I don't get it. Why do you, why do you even waste your time with this stuff? Well... No, no, no. How, how about bagging some of those muggers you got in town instead of bringing in a guy for an unopened bottle of booze? Hey, you're underage, all right? Just having the alcohol on your person is a violation. Get real, please. Hey, this is about as real as it gets. I, I understand. We both do. And, and so you can be sure it won't be happening again. Well, I'm sure it won't, but we have to deal with this time. And you know what? This is the second time I've caught you in a compromising situation, Jessica. Your parents are probably starting to worry. Don't worry them anymore by telling them about this. Or Will's parents, either. Yeah, there's no use in freaking them out any more than they already are. Look, if it was up to me, I would let you guys go with a warning. All right? My partner, Officer Block, is a by-the-book kind of guy, if you know what I mean. He's got a oh. penal code for a heart. Talk to him, can't you? I mean, kind of explain to him about the family upset. I'll try. Hey, I can't believe this is happening. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I can't. And this is the point I was trying to make when I warned you about waving that bottle around. Yeah, well, I thought your family owned this town. Can't you pull a few strings or something? When you're a Buchanan, sometimes they come down harder on you because they don't want to be accused of favoritism. And what's the point of being rich and powerful? And where is everybody's sense of humor? Is that not allowed in this wonderful town of Landview? The toast was a joke. That's your folks don't laugh. Yeah, well, if my mom even comes down hard on me about it, what she just pulled in then. <sighs> Sorry, Block is not gonna budge. You guys gotta be booked and fingerprinted. Oh, my God. This is such a load. Well, fine. We'll cooperate completely. But do our parents have to find out? I mean, you know who we are. We're not flight risk. I mean, why can't you just release us in our own cognizance? 
Here, I found some clothes. Thank you. They belong to the boys, but they've never been worn, so uh, Todd can use them. Great. Well, I, I'm grateful that it's one shopping expedition less I have to do. Listen, how was Todd after he left the hospital? <clears throat> how was Todd? Well, um, to tell you the truth, I don't think I've seen much of Todd lately. So Tom is still in charge? Mm -hmm. Well, that's very good, except he really should not be alone. Well, that's, that's, that's my feeling exactly. Um, you know, i got to tell you, this... this split personality thing has really got me baffled. I mean, I've done some reading on it, but I really hope that maybe you can recommend a good therapist for the case. I've got the perfect one. The woman who treated me, and she's wonderful. You should be very comfortable with her, <clears throat> except that it's Susanna Hannon. Hannon? Nora's sister. But uh, wouldn't she be extremely prejudiced? I mean, Todd's been so hard on Nora for a long time. No, I think we can count on her to be totally professional. All right, I will trust your judgment. You should do that, too, because it's thanks to Susanna that I have any judgment. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go visit Todd, and you're going to go round up our children. Yeah. Hold on. Hello. Hey, Vicky, it's Drew. Uh, listen, I'm down at the station. I got some bad news. What? Well, nobody's been hurt. We're just going to need you to come down. We got uh, Jessica and Will Rappaport in custody. They've been arrested. Kevin, he's, he's very fragile, so go easy on him. Hey, fragile? Listen to yourself. You're getting sucked in all over again. How do you let this happen to yourself? That's why I need you to do the questioning, but control yourself. I need you to be objective, too. No, no, what you need me to do is expose his game as fast as I can. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I really need proof that he is faking. <laughs> I'm really, there's not a lot in the house. Hope this is okay. Oh, thank you, uh, Tom. You want some, Kevin? No, thanks. I'd really like to get started as soon as you could. Oh, sure, yeah, I got a lot of explaining to do. Well, good, I'm really excited to hear it. Think we could talk alone? Um, Ted, could you excuse us? Because anything I say in front of Kevin, Kevin might think that I'm saying just for you. I'll be upstairs. Okay. Ask away. So you decide to give me that air that I've been after. Oh. I want more than just a decision involved here, Asa. Hey, hey, that's part of the fun. And you are not the motivating factor. Whatever. As long as the baby's healthy. Now, if Bo will pick up my job offer, this old man's joy will be complete. Pa, Nora and I are having a private discussion. What is there to discuss? I can't figure out why you think twice. A job, a baby? Hey, a little guy running underfoot? Hell, it'll keep you both young. Could you leave us alone? No. Right. What about dinner? Later. Oh. But one second, Bo. Listen to me. You gotta keep up your strength. Have a nice supper. Would a baby be so bad? No. I'm just still wondering why you're so gung ho about it. Because we're running out of time, Bo. Honey, that's no better reason to create a baby than uh, trying to please Asa would be. What are you looking for here, Bo? We've taken a lot of knocks lately, and like I told you before, I just want to make sure this idea of having a baby is in some wrong-headed way to save a marriage. It's funny. I thought our marriage was saved. I thought that we were more solid than ever. I think so, too. It's just that we're a long way from being back to normal. Normal? We were never normal, Bo. I mean, do you want to be normal? I don't think so. Where do you see our future? Only even better. Hmm. You? I see us together. Growing. Moving on. 
And you think a baby will facilitate that? Facilitate? It's quite a clinical term, for Pete's sake. I don't know where our life is headed, Bo. And you know what? I really like not knowing. But wherever we're headed, I can imagine it was a baby. Can't you? Yes, we communicate very well in the bedroom. That's a good start, isn't it? Sex doesn't make a marriage, Lindsay. No, but it sure can break one. The thing is, we went into this marriage business kind of backwards. I mean, we dove into it without any courtship at all to speak of, and, and hardly got to know each other. Hell, we, we weren't even really friends. Well, think about all the fun that we can have doing those things now. Mm, there's got to be more to it than fun and games. I know that. I'm not a novice here. I know there's more important things than what's your favorite color, what's your favorite food, and what do you really hate? Red, ribs, and artichokes. Well, I think you'll find that I look very good in red. <laughs> I bet you do. What else do you need to know? I need to know how not to hurt you. I need to know what you need from me. I need to know how to balance each other out, and I'm not talking about your checkbook. Go on. I'm used to being wealthy, so I know that's not enough. I've learned that much from Sam. Look, if you're going to uh, have a knee-jerk reaction every time I mention his name, that's going to be really hard for me. I'll try not to make it hard for you. I was going to say that I... Sam had money. Money never made me feel secure. What does? Having the feeling... that I'm valued. That I matter. That I'm interesting. You give me those feelings. Well, I sure hope to. Oh, well, you do. It happens to be true. It is. When you walk into a room, I feel so proud that you chose me. You didn't take advantage of me. But you honored me by making me your wife, and I want to be the best wife that I can be for you. You mean all that? What do you want me to say? I chose you. That's good enough for me. There's just one thing. What? Next time Will starts giving you any grief, will you try and remember that you've got a husband you can come to for help? I will, I promise. I got you into this mess. I can see why this thing with your parents made you crazy. Come and get to me, too. It's like, if they don't get it that you're grown up, you might as well regress. Really, they tell you to act your age, but they want you to act the age they think you, they want you to act, not the age you really are. Which is rarely over 13. Oh. Look, Dad, 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 look. No, don't even say it. I will, okay? I know, I know. When am I going to grow up? What the hell was I thinking? No, okay, you know, what did you just keep it yourself, all right? You committed a criminal act here. You understand? A criminal act. Drinking and driving? I, I wasn't I wasn't driving and, and I didn't even drink. The bottle wasn't even open. That's how stupid all this no, is. No, I'll tell you what stupid is. Stupid is calling the cop stupid. Stupid is waving a bottle in the air. Stupid is getting yourself arrested just to try to get back at the people you're angry at. Right. I forgot it's all about you. Sam's boy did it again. 
I guess I don't have to tell you how disappointed I am. Oh, no. But you will, won't you? Sweetie, don't act the aggrieved party here, okay? I don't know what's going on with you. You stay out all night. Well, so did you. So what? Sweetheart, I was helping my brother. Well, so was I. Will and I weren't doing anything wrong. Well, I'm afraid the judge won't agree with you there, Jessica. The fact is, is this could go on both your records. Jessica could lose her license. Why don't you think before you act? Well, I guess maybe I had lousy role models. Gee, I, I wonder what's worth, a no-show dad or a sneak around mom? Don't pull that victim stuff with me, pal. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work for the cops either or the court. You are responsible for your actions. Okay, time to book and fingerprint. Oh. Dad, come on, you, you're a lawyer. You can't stop this farce? It's got to be strange for you. I mean, because you're right, Todd and I really hate each other. Well, Pete hates you, and you hate Pete, but I don't blame you for that, because he's awful. Pete? Yeah. I should really tell you that I, I went to Chicago, and um, I, I did a little I background check on Chicago. all three of you. Well, what'd you find out? Well, I found out that uh, Tom... That's you, right? Yeah. Well, Tom had a girlfriend named Michelle. Oh, Michelle. She was so nice. She was so pretty, Kevin. It, it hurt to look at Tom, her. Tom, why don't you go ahead and tell me exactly what happened to you when you were 14? Um, well, <clears throat> okay, first of all, you don't need to keep the Tom thing going, okay, because I know that you don't believe in him, so I I if you want to call me Todd, go ahead. I'm used to it. You, you sure don't want any juice? No, I don't want any juice. Okay. Okay, Todd, uh, I did a background check on you, and I found out that uh, your grades started slipping, and you got into all kinds of serious trouble when you were a kid, 14. Yeah. I guess. What do you mean, you guess? You know. You tried to incorporate it all into your plan, didn't you? That's a big word. You're so smart. You know, I, I thought you were smart from the minute I saw you. Get off it. You despise me. No, that was Pete. Pete despised you, but I always thought you were kind of cool, you know? I mean, you were on top of the world. You, you, you had it all together. You had this great family. You were the president of the fraternity. Uh, I, I wanted to be just like you. But, you know, Pete, I guess he resented you. I think he was just jealous. Is that why he made me stand trial for a rape that he oh, committed? I felt really bad about that, and I, I wanted to say something to you, but I... I, I just couldn't talk. I, I still can't really talk very good. I'm just getting used to it. That's it's been a long crock. Okay, I can see why you would think it would be a crock. I would think it was a crock if it weren't really happening to me. You researched DID when you found out that my mother had oh, it, Vicky. And, and that's them. how you got to where I you are now. I mean, family. yeah, I know. You know, our family can feel your love, Todd, just warming us all up. That was Pete. Kevin, I never had a brother. I never really even had a friend. And I've always kind of hoped that maybe you could be both of those things for me. Okay. You're good. You're good. And you know what? All these characters that you've come up with, they're going to come in really handy for you because they'll be able to keep you company when you spend 350 years behind bars. I think it's because I felt so guilty about the divorce or something, but I've cut Will a lot of slack. I, I, how do I get through to him? you got to get his attention first. And that's a little difficult right now because you're obviously preoccupied with Todd. Yeah, but I don't know. You know i got to pin him down somehow. i got to make him realize that this is not a rehearsal. This is real life. Well, we should be able to get the paperwork moving now. Uh, where's, uh, where's Will? In fact, they're giving Officer Block a hard time, of course. Oh, just great. Uh, he'll, he'll be out shortly. Um, and if I could just get you to sign here, I'll release Jessica into your custody. Thank you, Drew. Will's 18. He's on his own. Okay. Now, Vicki, you might as well uh, take Jessica home. Uh, I'm waiting for Will. No. No, you are not. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Will's going to be a little while, Jessica. Don't 
What about Todd? What about Todd? Uh, uh, he's my responsibility. Yeah, but Will is your priority. Oh, no. I, I can handle both of them. Really? Really. Well, all right. If you need a hand, just let me know, let me know okay? Thank you. Jessica? Thanks, Drew. Look, I'm seriously about the judge. He's gonna make a big deal about this. The bottle wasn't even open. Well, that's what I'm afraid of. Understand? Hey. The kid's got some mouth on him. Yes, I'm I'm well aware of that. So, what now? Grind until I leave to Columbia? No. Now you try to make your own bail. It's a joke, right? No joke. was so incredibly stupid. All I did was try to help Will. I know, I know, okay? I know. Sam told me about what you and Will overheard. But, sweetheart, that's no excuse for a whiskey bottle. Oh, the bottle wasn't even open. It was just like a, a statement. Oh, come on, Jessica. Oh, don't tell me that proves how immature I am. No, I won't, because you're not. I'm not? No, you're not. You know, sweetheart, it's very difficult for a parent, a mother, to pinpoint exactly the moment when her child grows up. But I've realized that you are indeed a woman with a woman's feelings, and I have to start treating you as such. Well, where is this coming from? Not from my getting arrested. No, no that was happenstance. And it better not happen again. Well, I've just begun to see that I have to start treating you as an adult and not as a child, and I have to be more honest with you. Like about Dad's marriage? Um, yeah, that's a pretty good place to start, yeah. I tried to put a good face on it for you, all right? To protect you. I didn't want you to know that it bothered me. But the truth is, it upsets me terribly. And I want your father to be happy, but... But you don't trust Lindsay, do you? Um, honesty, trust, maturity? No. No, I do not trust Lindsay. Well, this isn't the way to land, Harry. No, we just have to make a stop first, so we can go home and talk all night if you'd like to. Why are we stopping? I have to take some clothes to Todd at his home. Todd's out of the hospital? How? Why? Well, it's very, very complicated, and it is one of the things I need to talk to you about. You know, I don't think I feel like an all-nighter after all. Why don't you just drop me off at Grandpa's? At Grandpa's? Wait a minute, you want to go to Grandpa's because I want to stop at Todd's? I don't care about Uncle Todd. <sighs> and I'd rather spend the night where I'm a high priority anyway. You know, Jesse, what you're doing now is, is very foolish. Saying that you're not a high priority in my life, you know that's not true. Life is not perfect, sweetheart. At the best, it's a series of compromises. You have to know that. Yeah, I know that. But we're into honesty now, right? Well, honestly, I'd rather spend my night with my dad. All right, Jesse. If that's what you want. Yep, that's what I want. Todd's gonna die in there, isn't he? Well, that's a pretty good bet. Mm. Yeah, but I think prison's gonna be a lot easier for Todd now that Pete's not in control. And you know, Kevin, I really, I have no thanks for that. Oh, yeah? And why is that? Oh, because you pushed him really hard, you know, with the headlines, and then when you held the gun to his head at the lodge and everything. I mean, if you hadn't done that, then maybe Pete would still be in control, and I'd be, like, stuck inside a Todd, watching through those eyes, watching Pete be mean to everybody. Uh, but you, 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 you pushed him. You pushed him so hard, and he just went, woo, and he kind of, like, ran away. And Ah, I, I want to thank you for that, Kevin. I mean it. You're going to thank me for sending you to prison? Oh, no, you don't understand at all. I've been locked up for a long time while Pete was running things. And now, now, you know, I, I, I get to talk. I, I get to make some decisions. I mean, Kevin, I'm going to be grateful to you for the rest Shut of... Shut up! 
The only thing I can't imagine is a future without you. So if you want to go to that clinic, you go ahead and see if the baby's an option. Option. There you go, Ken. And I promise you, while you're gone, I'll work on my imagination. See if I can't put a kid in our future. Not a kid, Bo. Our kid. Our kid. Ours. Ours, yes. I love you, Red. I just don't, I don't want you to get... My hopes up. I know. Well, I don't think my little dinner party went exactly as planned. <laughs> well, the best laid plans. <laughs> well, Jessica, what's going on? Oh, nothing. Will and I just got arrested. What? Darling, I don't believe it. What's happened? Uh, Clint, Jessica was not at fault. Oh, I'm sure of that, but what did he get you into this time? Uh, I'd better go find Asa. He had an international call. Where's my son? What's Sam done with him? Will was giving the police kind of a hard time, okay? I'm not sure, but I think it's possible that Sam decided to let him spend the night in jail. All right, you know what, man? I'm going to sue you for false arrest, and I'll have my dad arrested for child abuse. Hey, look, if you had a mouth off to us and your dad, you might not be in here. Yeah, yeah, well, he thinks just because he's some big famous mouthpiece that he can get away with this. Hey, 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 come on, I can hear you all the way down the hall. Yeah, hey, right, right, you can hear me, but as usual, you don't listen. <sighs> Would you excuse us uh, for a moment here, please? Well, the truth is, is I can spring you from this place. I can get you out of here, but I want you rational first. I want to make sure that we can communicate. Forget it. All right, you know what? I'll just, I'll, I'll use the lawyer that the, the court gets. Oh, come on, don't you see what you're doing? Uh, this is so self-destructive. I mean, you make a big mistake, and then you try to cover it by making a bigger mistake. You, you, you leave your own son locked up in jail while you spend all your free time and efforts bringing a real criminal? You know what? Why don't you just forget about me and stick to the son you really care about? Good old Boomer. I want to know how smart you think I am. I want, I want to know how much you admire me, Todd. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You think I'm smart enough to buy your I want to talk about performance, do you? Don't get on me. Please don't yell at me anymore. Please, Kevin. I'm sorry. 